the way that I got into this game was because it was, I think, included in um, one of the Xbox Live Summer of Arcades, which, for long-time viewers of the channel or people who know me, I froth at the mouth over the, the Xbox Live um, indies. Like, no joke. I love those. Bastion is my second or third favorite game of all time, and I was introduced to it through that. From Dust was really good. I don't know if it's as good now, but... Um, and there were a lot of games just like on Xbox Live Arcade that were just really good. And the other thing is that like, they were nostalgic and so I have things to talk about, even if I don't have anything interesting to actually share about them. Uh, I can be like, I remember doing this as a kid, you know? A lot of my content on my channel, you may have noticed, is of a nostalgic sort, you know? The first game I LP'd was uh, Halo Reach. Another game I played in the early 2010s uh, on uh, Xbox, you know, 360. Which have you guys speed it up, huh? Legitimately, just feels good to do. This is a good feeling. Game. It's a very good game. I think describing a game is good because it has good feel. It's really kind of weird and asinine. These guys are whittling their health down too much. Be right back, fellas. Oh, it was fine. But yeah, I of course love nostalgic content. And like, look at this game. Classic. So yeah, this is the actual level you get Archer Guardian. So consider that like all of the other levels where I've been using them. Me, or do these attacks seem more organized? Alright. Like yeah. This is one where I really had to figure out the whole concept of, like, make the choke point, you know? This is a thing that... Th there's a couple kinds of... Um, like... There's a couple kinds of, of power defense games. And the thing is, is that, like... Yeah, new enemies. The thing is, is that, like, when you have the freedom to build your own maze to run them through, is cool. I like that. Sorry, I was sprinting and I couldn't shoot. Didn't realize why. Um, so kobolds still do the same amount of damage to your rift that an orc's body will do. I don't exactly know how they're damaging the rift. I kind of assumed that, like... I kind of assumed that, like, the way that it worked was they were, you know, running through the rift and, and killing people on the other side of it. You know, Orc just bursts out into a standard medieval market and they don't have the ability to, you know, get Orcs off their back. And that's a problem for them. But considering that kobolds don't appear to have any ability to fight, it could just be that uh, kobolds literally running into a rift is like corrupting it or hurting it or damaging it. Or something. This thing's a bit busted. You can kind of tell that it's, you know, 2000s, uh, 2010s DLC. 
do it. And then another misstep that they did is that for some reason, they didn't make an Ultimate... Like, Ultimus Die 1 and 2 came out, like, pretty close to each other, you know, in the early 2010s. They were, like, 2011 and 2012, 2011, 2013 or something. And that was fine. In fact, it was good. Yeah, there we go. Kobolds get slowed up by Tar, so it's essential to fight them in Tar. Zombie Orcs is fun. We'll make a good team. Burn an orc for me. All right. But yeah, they spent. I don't know if they just spent so much so much time working on Unchained, and then they didn't do anything. Like I don't even know if it's even possible to play Unchained. I paid so little attention to it because I was just so uninterested. And like, I love Orcs I want to do. But it was just so supremely uninteresting that it was a 5v5 shooter MOBA and like... You know, I've even now played Smite. And I guess I like Smite. It's fun. I don't really... I only play Smite socially. I think that's kind of the way to play MOBAs. If I'm queuing solo and I don't, like, I don't have anyone I know that I'm playing with, I feel like I'm, like, I feel like I'm doing that when I'm drinking, you know? Like, if you are, you know, drinking heavily on a Tuesday and you don't have anyone you know with you and you're just alone drinking in your room, that's weird. Same deal with MOBAs. If you're playing MOBAs alone, to me, that's weird. But, you know, if I'm, you know, it's a Saturday and all my friends are online or we're landing and we're all playing uh, Smite together, then that's fine. That's not weird, you know? Like, I love Orcs Must Die as a, as a series. I like that it is willing to just be stupid, you know? Weird Al said, dare to be stupid. That was, that was, it was right. Um. Don't waste what I've given you. But yeah, like, for Orcs Must Die to be like it is, and then for it to be a franchise that I like, even with even with its shortcomings, I accept, like, basically every shortcoming of the franchise, of the series, and I'm like, you know what, yeah, it's fine. Like, hey, as a writer of fantasy and a fan of Tolkien, do I agree with the concept of an evil race? A little bit. I do disagree with it. But it's also just dark. It's not really meant to be that serious. You know? Jeez, too close. That's at 20 when I started, right? And then after several years of doing nothing with Orcs Must Die Unchained, I noticed that they were making Orcs Must Die 3, and I was like, oh, cool. But they were only making it for Stadia. Which is, you know, a whole different problem. Like, I don't support Stadia as a concept. Like, I legitimately disagree with the idea of Stadia. Uh, 
Oh, man. <laughs> when did that freeze? All right, guess I'm doing this without a webcam. Actually, hold on. <laughs> 